got this box here, which is Are You Dumber Than A Box Of Rocks? But it's got nothing in it. It had a game in it that my son thought was amusing to buy me for Christmas. And it was a fun game. But I want to turn this into a jewellery box. But with some fake marquetry on the top. And I'm going to design the marquetry using my Cricut. And then place it on the top of that. So that's all cut out now. I changed my mind, got rid of the moons and put some extra stars in. Now when I take this off the mat, I need to bend the mat rather than bend the cardboard because I want it to remain nice and flat so it goes back together really easily. There we go. So let's double check that this fits on the box. Yeah, it fits on there perfectly, which is great. Now I am going to put some extra cuts in this as well because I think it's going to look nicer with some smaller bits in it rather than these great big bits and all I'll do is get my ruler and I'll find the middle of this which is going to be fairly easy it's not technically going to be the middle because I want to cut these bits out I don't mind that so then I'm going to put a line up to there one up to there and if I don't like this when I look at it then if I haven't made the cuts it doesn't matter I can just rub those out yeah, I quite like that. So now I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to do exactly the same for all the other stars. Well, I've got all my bits cut out now and I've put them in bags and I've labelled the bags and labelled this. So I know which ones go back into where and I can keep all the correct star bits together as well for when I come to paint them. What I'm going to do now is give this box a clean using some 99% alcohol. because It's got like a plastic covering on it and I don't want to take that off. I just want to give it a bit of a clean in case it's got grease or anything all over it. And then because this is a plastic coated box, it's going to be quite nice and strong. I'm going to spray it with some plastic primer before I do anything else with it. While my box is priming, what I'm going to do is paint all my pieces. Now I did a couple of mock-ups to see which one I liked best. And I really like this one. So it's going to be roughly those types of colours. So yellow and red, silver and black. I really like that one until I put the bits on the outside and then it weren't good. So that is how I'm going to do it. So the first bit I'm going to paint is this and I'm going to paint that gold. It'll probably need a couple of coats, but that's fine. I don't mind that. And the first coat I'm going to give it is going to be a watered down version of that gold. So it sinks nicely into the cardboard. So the first coat I'm going to give this is this nice watery gold. And this is just our Tezza gold that I've put in here and then added a little bit of water. And that will sink nicely into this card so that when I use the proper gold on it, it's not going to peel off in any way. Give that coat all the way over and through those bits as well. And when that's dry, I'll give it a second coat of the thicker Arteza gold. I've numbered all these so I know exactly which ones to paint on here. And I've also numbered these ones. Now if it's got a circle around the number like that, then that means that's the back and that's the front. So I know which ones I need to paint what colours. I'm going to sort them out first so that I don't do it wrong. Because I know what I'm like. So number one, number three. Three, number five, number seven, and number nine. And then these ones are a different colour. So these ones are silver, those ones are black. And then I can just get on and paint those. And that's what I will do for all the pieces. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the box once the primer's dry. My whole work area is now looking a bit untidy because I've got quite a few bits going on everywhere. But what I want to do next is paint this. And I've decided to do it in gold and I'm going to spray it using this shimmering gold Paint. It's fairly quick drying and it's really nice hard wearing. I'm going to do that outside because I don't want to have to breathe in all the spray. Well, while that's drying, I've found a couple of these little boxes and I am a hoarder, there's no doubt about it. And what I'm going to do is put these boxes inside the actual jewellery box itself and then you can put things in them separately if you want. I'm just going to quickly measure what size they are. Seven and a half centimetres by eight and a half and I cut those down and glue them in and the great thing is you can easily cut this felt it's so cheap I, I use it all the time for different projects and it cuts so nicely using your cutter all I do is I start from the middle rather than the edge and then go in might help if I use the right bit which is this bit that was the narrower bit so just go in the middle push it down go out to the edge push it down go out to the edge and even though I messed the first bit up I've redone it again and it's fitted in there lovely. 
And now all I'm going to do is use a little bit of white glue, spread all over to glue those down with. Leave it a couple of minutes and then they'll be nicely adhered to them, making sure I get it all in the corners and everywhere. Well, the box is dry now and it's ready to start to put together. And I thought these would look nice in it, either there like that or there like that. I'm not going to glue them in because then if you want to take them out, you can just lift them out and use them. What I've decided is I'm going to put a trim on it just to brighten it up a little bit as well. And I've got this washi tape. Now washi tape, as we know, does come off quite easily. I, I love washi tape, but it's not exactly a great stick. So I want to put a bit across here on my hinges. I like this pattern. So I think that looks quite nice. It kind of finishes it off. And we're not going to need it on the top. We've got the bit of fake marquetry on. But this washi tape does seem to stick down quite well. And if it doesn't, then what I will do is I'll just go over it with a little bit of varnish to stick it on. Well, I've cut out the word jewellery using my Cricut look here. And I'm going to put that on the sides and the back of the box to bring it up a little bit. But also because, look what I did, it wasn't quite dry when I was putting on the washi tape. And I've marked it. And I don't want that mark to be there. But I also don't want to re-spray it because it means taking all the washi tape off again. And that's not something I want to do. So I thought this would be a good way of hiding it. Okay, so they're all on. I actually really like how they've come out. And I also put some of these little stick-on beads that I've got. Now, I glued those on because if not, I know how much of a problem they can be to stick on. So I've used some all-purpose glue to stick those on with. And now I need to put this on. And all I'm going to be using on this is some white glue. And I'm going to paint that all the way around this here. Making sure I get a nice thin coat of this on it. Because I don't want to put it on the box yet. Because I don't want to fill any of these spaces with glue. And then as a result can't get my other bits in. I'm going to work quite quickly with this. Because if not... What will happen is it will dry and then I can't get it to stick down. So it will just absorb into the paper. So I'm ready to put this on now. Now this might ruin it. I don't know. I'll make sure I put it on the right way. But I really wanted to have a go at this. And so that is why I'm doing it. And I hope it's going to look nice. I've got that all painted on there, the glue. Now I need to put something on there to hold that down to ensure that that sticks really well to that. And all I'm using is my resin blocks here. And you know I made these a long time ago. And because these are see-through, if I've moved it slightly, I can then just move it around like that and put that down. And I'm going to leave that on there a couple of hours so it adheres to that really, really well before I start putting the fake marquetry bits in. Well, I'm ready now to put my fake marquetry on. And I'm a bit unsure what to glue this down with. I'm going to try to start with some gilding glue. Which, as we know, dries sticky, but I'm not sure if it's going to dry sticky enough to actually glue this into place. So all I'm going to do is try it on a couple of bits first. And if it isn't sticky enough, then what I'm going to do is use wood glue, because I know that will. But then it does mean that I'll have to put a weight on it, rather than being able to just stick it down and leave it. So we'll let that dry, and then we can test it. Okay, so that's dry, and we know it's dry because it's gone clear. And now I can put my bits in yeah that holds that really really well a lot better than i thought and then I'm, I'm going to varnish this at the end anyway over the top so that'll give it that extra bit of strength what i can do now is finish off painting that in and then finish building it putting it together i've got all my bits labeled and i've got my plan here so that's nice and dry now and i can put the rest on and all i've got to go by is my numbers and i know which way to put them round because of my plan here i know that one's got to go there like that that down all the way round. <laughs> I really enjoyed this project. I love making every project I make. Nothing more satisfying as well than trying something out new and it working out. Now I could do that so it was flat like that. That might actually make it easier because then I can push harder on these pieces. And now all I need to do is go around and fill all my bits in. There, like that. And now I'm ready to put the star in. And again, each piece is labelled on the back. So I know which bit goes where in relation to my little plan. So I'm going to finish this off and then I'll show you what it looks like done before I varnish it. Well, they're all in there now and they didn't take me long. Now what I'm going to do is go over this with a gloss varnish. I'll probably give it two coats, maybe three. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. See what it looks like once it's 
dry and then I can decide. And this will help keep any of those bits in and it will also make them lovely and shiny. And this is an acrylic gloss varnish I'm using here. I will link everything that I use in the description below. Big thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month. The coffees are so lovely. Thank you. It really helps me to keep this channel going. I love the little messages everyone puts on them. Some of them I even print off and keep them in my bad day box. So that if I'm having a bad day, I can, um, I can read them and they cheer me up. I could have used a spray on this, but I actually really wanted to use this liquid gloss varnish rather than the spray. Okay, so we'll leave that now to dry and then we'll come back to that and have a look and see if it needs another couple of coats. Well, this is nearly finished now. All I need to do is put these little feet on. Now, I had some of these, but not in the right colour, so I sprayed them with the same gold spray that I used for the actual box. So these are normally screwed on. But obviously I can't screw these on this time because I've made this out of cardboard. So I'm going to be using a little bit of hot glue here. Pushing those in, filling up the little screw holes. I'll finish sticking them on and then I'll show you what it looks like completely finished. Well, now it's all done. I'm really pleased with the way it's come out. I could possibly put a little mirror here and a catch on it. But I quite like the way it is now. The legs look brilliant on it. And I love the gem, so I'm glad I made that mistake. And I just have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed every minute of making this pattern on the top. Well, just a simple way of upcycling an old box. Now, I could glue these in, but I don't want to because somebody might decide to only have one. They might want them that way round. So I want it to be quite flexible how they can be used. Boot that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check out the video that's coming up next. I think you'll love that upcycle as well. Take care. Enjoy your crafting. Bye.